same kind of format as the last video, except I did remember to plug in the audio cable this time. So I've been waiting and wanting this for ages, and well, it finally happened. I got my first taste of actual IFR in this flight, and it wasn't by design, and guess what? I didn't get to see it. As soon as I saw the clouds coming towards me, my I went directly and focused on the instruments. I didn't even look outside. My first time seeing it was when I was looking up on this video. Um, so this flight was to uh, Belmar, B-L-M, K-B-L-M from Allentown. The original flight that we was wanting to do to Norwich had to be postponed because of logistic logistics. Um, the so it was just a basic flight um, from Allentown through uh, Philly uh, and then down to New Jersey. So yes, this is the second time I've landed in New Jersey. Um, it's quite remarkable since I wouldn't even touch New Jersey beforehand. But you know, you had to. It was a relatively smooth flight and um, basically ATC kind of put you in clouds, or put me in clouds this time. Like they try to give you experience of actual IFR. They asked a couple of times if we are IFR. And um, as you will hear later on in the video, like, like we spend all the time planning our routes, filing, getting cleared for the specific groups. And then we take off just for them go, okay, clear direct to, which kind of makes you wonder why they make you go through the point of planet at all, just to have them make you go direct. And it's like a waste of time. But no, I am learning and seeing pretty quick that um, IFR is uh, pretty f quick and it's easier than uh, VFR to some degree. Um, a portion of this video I created a separate practice video um, because you'll see me f failing at the, uh, the clearance, writing it down. Uh, our initial pilot training we have our own challenges with radio and um, we're all amazed and surprised and proud of ourselves for being good at the radios and you know just to find out no one cares. And well, IFR has its own radio challenges as I'm discovering. And immediately after this flight and after I uploaded that video, I just spent like a couple of hours um, just listening and repeating that video, copying the uh, clearance down, writing down the clearance, and then waiting a day, making it, you know, so I didn't have, so I could forget it, came back to it try to write down the clues first time and you know slightly improving on the memory memorization skills of course having more than one clearance to listen to would help but just getting that initial one down would help with the you know memory skills um, like uh, like I said IFR has its own radio challenges but overall this is a nice general easily flight Everything else from this point on is uh, cockpit audio, plane audio. So have fun. At 4,000, correction, 3,500 for 5,500 inbound to November 40, request flight following. Number 45, November squawk 0455. Zero four five five entered. Seven, seven, climbing four, five, a little five, bit five. better today. It would climb better if I stayed at eight nine. But <laughs> number one seven seven, uh, maintain five thousand. You hurry up to five if you could. Roger, how are you up to five one seven seven? Number four five November radar contact. Now tunnel number three zero two nine. Or turn ten degrees right. Vector around traffic. Yeah, just keep us climbing turn at like eight five right, or seven, something. Seven, four five November. Okay. Get there. When well, we get there. Going as fast as he could. <laughs> I know, that's when he said that I wanted to be like, sir, this is all we got, man. <laughs> yeah. Turkey 
Cherokee 177, contact Philly approach, 123.8, good day. 123.81, have a good day, 177. 123.8, correct. I'd like to wipe their frequencies down. Yep, no worries, I'd do the same. Philadelphia Post Cherokee 32177, leaving 4,500 for 5,000, flying 151. 32177, Philly Approach. Thanks, Philly Altimeter 3027, what's your destination? 3027, and it's uh, Belmont, KBLA 177. I'm sorry, say, say the destination one more time. It's going to be Belmar, Kilo, Bravo, Lima, Mike, 177. Mike, thanks, Belmar. Me and my accent cause trouble. <laughs> Henry, you want to jump us out to say? Yep, no worries. Henry, you want thank you. Uh, radar service service, change the vibes, frequency free. We'll talk to you soon. Henry, you thanks. for 01 Lima, and uh, is there an altitude that would work direct on course instead of going out to Medina? Uh, you're not going to go all the way to Medina. That's just to get you out of the way of the, uh, the Philly departures. Once you once you get a little bit west of, because uh, we're on an east flow today, once you get a little bit west of the departure area, you're going to go right on course. Okay. Fully understand, sir. Thank you. You were just pushing it to go back to radius. And then it's on the squelch, so you push it a second time, and that'll be good. And just okay. watch your course. Yeah. Keep trying to do things so I don't fall behind and I keep the head in slip. Yep, no worries. I'm, I'm happy you're working ahead though. And, you know, it's good to load the VORs as a backup. Um, yeah. So everything looks good. doing these cross countries, I was going to have us go to Smoketown because they're flying today and they had food trucks. Oh. I love food trucks. <laughs> they're not bad at all. <laughs> it was funny that my, because my friend, that's where she flies out, she was like, you're going to come. I was like, she was like, there's food trucks. I was like, dude, I got to do some cross countries today. <laughs> Have had as, uh, we could fly into for zero one Yeah, I was like, I was like, maybe I'll just add it into the cross country real quick. <laughs> so Philly approach the three and five eight five zero Foxtrot. November five eight five zero Foxtrot, Philly. Alpha Robinsville two thousand, like to climb to four thousand. That destination is uh, Allentown. Thank you. I'm sorry, what was the type session again? Uh, 209. Yeah, that, uh, when I was watching the video, it was like weird that we were on that frequency and we picked up Allentown while we was on Harrisburg. Yeah, that was weird. I thought the same thing. And at first I thought maybe I just heard, like we heard it wrong and it wasn't Allentown, but if you listen to it, that's funny. Yeah. Nigerian 5 drop Foxer, squad 4215 and ident. 4215, I said, uh, 505 truck. Thank you. I'll, I'll identify you here about 5, I'll just show McGuire's airspace. So when you call, I have heard you actually have to use finger belt, or can you just go to VOR, to VOR? No, you can do VOR, to VOR. Yeah, number 32177, just going to maintain 4,000. I think that was that. Just going to maintain 4,000 for Cherokee 32177. Just going to maintain 4,000? Yep. I don't know why, but... 
And also November 32177. You can proceed direct Robinsville at this time. That's Romeo Bravo Victor, Robinsville, and then direct your destination. Direct Robinsville and then direct your destination. Thank you, 177. And direct. And at, and at. Yeah, so what I was saying, um, with the, um, just watch your course as you come down, 125. Um, with picking your routes, it's not that you can't make the whole route VOR to VOR, yeah. but what's going to happen five, eight, is just like how we just got to to just go to RVB. Half yeah. the time, they don't even let you do the Copy route unless you tell them, like, hey, can I keep zero, my route, track. Okay. you know? Most times it's going to be direct, it's or really first, uh, nice way they're going to give you some rerouting. Yeah. Um, or four well, flights sure. are just going to tell you, like, you're not going to get that. 65 approved, 8 drop. Kind of makes you wonder why they make you go through the whole thing if they, you know. <laughs> I know. I find that funny all the time. I'll file stuff, and then that you just launch, and they're like, all right, direct destination. You're like, really? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 4,000, route looks good, cool. They're having us go an even to the, towards east. To an odd, yep. For some reason, Philly does that a lot. I've had that a couple times coming back from the shore. Yeah. Where I'll be at like, uh, four if it's, you know, I'm coming home or something. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah, can you go to 30, you know, 35 or something? And I'm like, what? Why? Yeah. Mama Traffic, Warrior is departing 
One floor of closed pattern lock. As opposed to the Flares down traffic, uh, one nine three downwind runaway two five. Flares down. Monmouth Executive Airport. Automated weather observation. One five. Five. Zulu. 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 Sky condition clear. Temperature two five Celsius. Dew point one eight Celsius. Altimeter three zero two niner. Remarks. Density. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah, the winds are one three zero. That's sweet. So we're about what ten ten miles out from the airport. Nine, 10, 11, 12, Probably about twelve miles out. Oh wait until we're at six and then I'll call. Yep, that's fine. Salmon traffic, Cherokee 32177 at the final, Port Fix, Cinep on the on-house, 1444 South, Salmon traffic. Mama traffic, Lincoln traffic, uh, Baron, 4 expect, approximately 2 mile final from way 26, circle runway 8. Five Uh, 
Traffic, Cherokee 32177 on a two mile final for runway 14, Mama Traffic. And traffic on final, the uh, Landseer at Marmoth, you figure we're going to be holding short of your runway on runway 21. Roger that, thank you, 177. We're in some one way. not available. point if you're already not straight on yeah. the center line then just land straight then get yourself on the center line. Yeah, that makes sense. Radio check. I heard you loud and clear. Thank you. Okay, take this taxiway. Brakes. Right. Okay. Go for it. So okay so for this one though remember it's not we're not talking like to who we're at, so you're gonna have to say like McGuire approach, Cherokee 32177, let her get back to you. Yeah. Then say 32177, we're on the ground at um, KBLM. Yeah. Would like to pick up our IFR back to Allentown. Okay. McGuire, clearance, Cherokee 32177. Over 32177, McGuire, clearance. McGuire clearance, uh, Cherokee 32177 on the ground here at Belma. Uh, we'd like to pick up our IFR uh, back to Allentown. November 321, you are cleared to Alpha Bravo Echo Airport yeah. via when entering control airspace. Proceed direct Dixie, Delta, India, X ray, India, Echo. Direct Romeo, Bravo, Victor. Join Victor 276. Alpha, Romeo, Delta. Intercept the Alpha, Romeo, Delta, 3, 2, Niner, Radial. To Fox, Charlie. Then direct destination. On departure, maintain 2,000. Expect 4,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency, 126.47. Squawk 4247. We are cleared to Allentown via Dixie, then Robbinsville, VOR, uh, followed by radial 276 to Yardley. 
on the 329 radial, and then I believe you said FJC to Allentown. Uh, 3,000, expect 4,010 minutes after departure. Frequency 2647, squawk 4247, Cherokee 32177. Number 32177, your readback is correct. Hold for a lead to buy one of the ones with runway number. Okay, uh, we'll need about uh, three minutes and we'll be departing 1 4. We'll call you when we're ready. All right, cool. So, with that routing, now I knew we were going to get Dixie and RBV. Okay. The radios were a little bit of a throw, and then ABE. So with the routing, I saw you stop writing. Yeah. And see, did you get the rest of that, or I did got, you just get it from me? I got the rest of the frequency from him. Perfect. So that's exactly what you do. If I wasn't here, read back what you have, and then yeah. say, I'm sorry, I'm new, can you read me the route again? Yeah. No big deal. All right, cool. Let's pull up and Do I switch back to you, here. Unicom, to tell him we're moving? We're going to pull up here first, call him, say we're ready. Once he releases us, then we'll switch to Belmar and give them a call as well. Okay. But since no one's waiting down here, we're going to stay with them. All right, so this is the whole short line. Yep. All right, so we are on the right jank, confirm. Yep, right, right, right jank, fuel pumps on, make sure it's ridge. Flight plan. I will let you load that. Okay. So you're going to click, and then Dixie. We only have three minutes though, don't we? <laughs> no, I just said we'd be ready in roughly three. He just okay. said call when ready. Uh, RBV. actually the same as before. Yeah. Okay, FJC and then ABE. F -J then Gabe. Yep. Okay, flight plan, message, switch tanks. Okay, good deal. So flight plans in, squawk code was four two four seven, you threw that in, sweet. Um, all right, so McGuire approach, three two seven seven, holding short of one four, ready for uh, release. McGuire clearance, Cherokee three two one seven seven, holding short of one way one four, holding for release at Belmont one seven seven. November 177, hold for release, expect about a 30 second delay for coordination. Hold for release 177. Cool deal. I didn't know I had to say the whole thing back or just hold for release. <laughs> So the initial hold for the release is it, the time it takes for the... Number 177, you are released for departure. Clearance void, it's not off. Two minutes, it's not off in two minutes. Advise McGuire ATC of intentions within seven minutes. The McGuire office 3026. Do I repeat the whole thing? Just say void if not off in two minutes. Void if not off two minutes, 177. Now my traffic, Cherokee 32177, taking off one way, one four. Okay, no one's coming, no one's coming that way. Alright, let's do it. So I was asking the uh, the hold for release thing, it's when it takes their system to get through the it, other, other ones? To... Well, what they're looking for is VFR traffic in our area. So all he was saying is we had to hold for release because there was people over our departure end. Yeah. I was... On the traffic, Navion is uh, four miles southeast. Beginning a uh, left downwind runway one four, Mama. Bird right ahead with us. Yep. Airspeed is alive. Great rudder, yep, see, keep that straight. There you go. Somerset traffic, you got a red cup 10 miles southwest, I'm going to overfly the field 1,500 feet. Enter the right downwind for two six landing on the ground. Somerset.
We're departing to the south, correct? Yeah, it'll be like a southwest turn, turn. Give that last call so we can call. Bomber traffic, maybe on his two and a half miles uh, to the south, east at the 45, entering a left downwind 14 bomber. Belmont traffic, check your 3217, just departed Belmont on the upper end, turn it, departing to the south end, last call, Belmont traffic. So, what do we choose to now? Yep, so that's McGuire. Roger, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, frequency change approved, have a good day. So, you're going to tell your altitude, okay, squawk VFR, 313, right sure there. Direct have a good day. Flight to direct Dixie? Yep. Or once, if you're on 276, just tell her direct Dixie. Squire approach to passion again, 1059, 5.2, climb at 6,000. Compassion 1059, McGuire approach, system number 3026. 26, compassion 1059. Okay, thanks. McGuire approach, check 32177, 1,000, climbing to 3,000, heading 226. 32177, McGuire departure, Ident. Ident, 177. 177, your radar contact, two miles south of Mammoth Executive, climb and maintain 3000. Climb and maintain 3000, 177. Let's climb at 89. Yeah. Sorry. Deal. Call them up. Squawk codes in. Yep. So remember when you try to call people too? Yeah. It's all about that multitasking. Uh, keep uh, your speed at what you want and your heading where you want. So if you're turning and calling somebody, make sure you're three, watching three, that six, heading because you were rolling right by. Yeah. Uh, I gotta remember navigate. 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 Yep. Roger. V for out to your discretion. And it's hard because with the IFR stuff, you can't take too long. Like, she's waiting for us to call her up. You know, we're IFR traffic. we got to give her a call soon. Yeah. But also, you know, I get, like, set line airplane comes first. It's like, get yourself figured out, then give her a call. Yeah. 285 Alpha Alpha, you are exiting my airspace to the north. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Oh, Squawk VFR, thank you. Five Alpha Alpha. Oh, well, if you want a picture of the ocean, that's a good United one. United 217, contact New York approach, 128.55. Have a good day. 2855, good day, United 217. 280, Foxtrot, Golf. How much further northwest do you plan on going on your air work? That's why I like coming down here, because you get a little view of the ocean. Yeah. It beats the uh, Panatown. Proceed direct Yardley. I didn't hear a call sign, so I don't think that was for us. I know, I missed it too. I was hoping she'd say it again. Oh, looks like we're getting pretty close to the clouds. Yeah. 280 Foxtrot Golf, how much further northwest do you plan on going? Uh, we'd like to cancel flight following, please, for 280 Foxtrot Golf. 280 Foxtrot Golf, Roger. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR. Frequency change approved. Squad VFR, if we get to change approved, then we'll talk to you soon. 471 uh, Tango Alpha, contact Atlantic City approach, 124.6. 1246, 1 Tango Alpha. Exit 377, there's traffic over Robbinsville, 1900 appears maneuvering. Exit 377, looking. And that's a uh, coil. Okay, uh, coil, thanks. Three two one seven seven. Climb and maintain four thousand. Climb and maintain four thousand one seven seven. Chicha three seventy seven has McGuire okay. or excuse me, has, uh, Ocean okay. County in sight. Like to cancel IFR. Exit three seven seven. IFR cancellation is received. Squawk VFR. Frequency change approved. Have a good day.
377 Squawk and VFR and switching. And can we reach you on the ground for tomorrow? Yes, do you have the phone number to call over at clearance? I do have that phone number, yes. All right, just use that phone number. You'll be able to pick up your clearance with them. Great. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Good afternoon, McGuire, Vision Jet 189 or Bravo Lima, is at 8,000. 189 Bravo Lima, McGuire Approach, Delta number 3026. 3026, sign on proceed direct Yardley. Direct to Yardley, 177. So. Compassion 1059, descend and maintain 4,000. Vietnam to RBV. Descend and maintain 4,000. Enter. 305. Oh, Yardley should be ARD. Did you not put that in? Okay. 297. Yep. Yeah, you skipped that one on the flight plan. That's okay. There's four. Cool. So it looks like they did us a favor. Yeah, nice little bits of actual. This is sweet. Uh, we're at 4,024. Yep, so you just focus on that heading. Yep, keep us on this turn. Should I put car heat in the cloud? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll throw it on for a little quick sec. Oh, yeah, she didn't like that. While you're flying, I'm just going to lean up and okay. grab the fuel pump. Yeah. The lights. Alrighty. Sweet. Get us trimmed for four more. Get back down to 4,000. Okay, so we're coming down to the end of this video right now. So my initial reaction from watching the video of the IMC, I'm like, why didn't I open up the window and touch the actually touch the cloud? And uh, the silly mind was like, well, if I open it up and let the cloud in, would it turn us into zombies? <laughs> but the, um, you know, silly stuff. But no, it was just like, wanting it, wanting it so much. It was just like, it was really nothing in the end. But no, it, the one thing I did notice, like, when it was going through the uh, cloud is that the cockpit, went from a uh, relaxed to tense, my instructor was more alert, I was more alert, I was focused on the plane, uh, I was focused on the instruments and flying, 
which is why uh, Abby had did the um, uh, cruising out because like I was like rigid focused and um, it, it's good to know that we um, it, it, it was kind of good watching it seeing that because it is like it, it's a snippet of crew resource management like um, I would have done it myself but you know it, it was good that I was focused on the instruments and, and I think that's what uh, my instructor wanted me to be focused on flying keeping the left straight and level watching do my cross check scan pattern and didn't want anything to, inter to interrupt that uh, me interrupting with my uh, to do cruising out could have messed me up so I think that's why she did that instead of letting me do it um, but no this was an amazing experience I thank uh, McGuire ATC because I'm pretty sure they led us into that cloud on purpose so that's the second I have a cross country out of the way Hey, on to the next one.